<laughs> and that's in comfort. And it still sounds and good. It still sounds really good. And it's still fast. There's a nice little booty shot for you. Oh my god, a lot better than I thought. What is up guys, Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Look what has just arrived. The brand new 2024 Mercedes AMG GT 55. Is it mine? Did we just buy it? I don't know, stick around. Okay, so we are here at Sun Motors Mercedes AMG dealership, actually the same place where we bought our Mercedes AMG GLE 63S Coupe. And Dan, uh, the salesman that sold us our car, uh, hit me up and said they just had this arrive. And I was actually t thinking about buying one of these to replace my Audi R8. Uh, you, might, you might yell at me and say, don't know, Jarrett, don't do that. But the truth is, this is a lot more drivable as a daily car and a lot more comfortable my audi r8 is a v10 plus and it has fixed suspension and it's pretty bumpier on these crappy pa roads um, but we'll get into that later so what is this this is the brand new mercedes amg gt um, it's to replace their old uh, gt series cars so it's been completely overhauled from the ground up and i gotta say this is my first time seeing it in person in videos i wasn't sure i thought maybe the older version looked better but in person it looks really really good so um yeah now they basically just have the amg gt 55 which is what this is and then the 63 and i believe they're both very similar i think they even share the same engine that same twin turbo v8 um, that's actually in our gle 63 is in this um, it's just detuned so it's only 470 horsepower where um, in the 63 it's 577 horsepower which is exactly the same as what it was in our gtr pro Oh, even better. <laughs> Great number, Mercedes. So um, yeah, so same engine, it replaces the old GT series. Remember we had, um, I, I owned a GTR, uh, a GTR Pro, uh, a GLE 53, a GLE 63. So I've had multiple versions of this engine. And I'm just wondering if it's, this one's 148,000 to spec the way that it is. I don't know, I can't find any information online about what the differences are between the 55 and the 63. Um, aside from the tune of the engine. If you guys know if there's an actual difference with the internals of the engine, let me know. I believe you could buy this and tune it, uh, which would probably avoid the warranty, um, and get it just as powerful as the 63 version and save yourself, like, I think it's like 30 or 50 grand difference. And I, I don't know why that, I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what the deal is. I, I, Mercedes, for some reason, won't update their website. This is still under future cars and concepts, so you can't spec it or look at all the differences. Um, so, I, yeah, I don't know what the deal is there. But anyway, what is, what is the deal with this car? Like I said, it's all new from the ground up. Uh, physically, it, it's totally different. The lights are different. The wheels, the everything except the engine, I guess, is pretty much the same. Um, it's really nice. Do you want to grab the key teens in there? I think it's in the... There's a nice little booty shot for you. So this is the new key, which is really nice. Um, I actually really like the way that this looks. It could be maybe a little thinner, but that's just me being... And actually Dan said that it might even have a credit card version of the key as what? well. Yeah, so that you can just throw it in your wallet. Um, the door handles pop out when you walk up to them or when you get far away, they, they pop back in, which is pretty cool. Um, it's a beautiful looking car. I, so. We were out here walking around looking at it. I think it's kind of starting to look more like a 911, but a more aggressive, more sporty version. I, I like the 911, but I think it, it's kind of like an old design. Um, I think that this one looks better. The rear end on this car looks absolutely insane. Like, look at that. It's really sleek and really smooth. I love the lettering and everything's blacked out, which is really nice. We got the night package on our car, but for some reason we still have silver badges. So I don't know what the deal is with that. And this is the reason why it appeals to me so much. So you can actually spec this now as a four seater. This one is not, but I think it looks like that still folds down or does it not? I can't tell. Um, but you can almost just right here fit golf clubs in. You can put a body in. Or fit a body, like teens could fit in there. She's not going to, because this car is actually for sale here at Sun Motors. Um, I'm not sure if that folds down or not. Does it? Does it? I'm not sure. Anyway, if you spec the four seater version, which I don't know why you wouldn't, the, the seats actually fold forward and then you literally can fit almost as much l luggage as our, as our SUV does. Like it's an insane amount. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, it's probably the most storage you can get in a sports car. 
um, of any sports car. And these are really cool too, the new lights. They're actually 3D, look at that. They stick out and they look really freaking cool. Um, the bottom diffuser looks really awesome, it's aggressive. I hate that they have to do these in the US. They have to put these two bumpers here. It looks a lot better without them than the European versions. These two things aren't there, see these? Oh, what are they How for? they stick out. It's just a US bumper, it has to have a rear bumper. Like, oh. it's so stupid, it's for crash BS. Um, yeah, but the diffuser looks awesome. The exhaust tips, these have the uh, black exhaust tips, the AMG embossing on there, which look really good. The wheels are incredible. These are new design of the wheels. You can see all the space you even have inside the car. You could put carry-ons. You could, you could, yeah, Christina <laughs> could probably lay in there as well. Um, and there's a ton of space on the inside Actually, of this car. When I pulled that, it moved on its own. All by itself? By itself, yeah. yeah. We'll get to the interior in just a second. Let's finish. Hey, Teen, can you pop the hood actually? And then I'll show you the window sticker for this too. It's moving back on itself. It's side. moving by itself. Oh, wow. Fancy. It's so luxurious. The interior is nutty too. And I'm gonna get to drive this car too. So we'll we'll start it up, take it for a drive too. Um, I actually love the, the, the new front end. It looks a lot like the Black Series. It looks like a a more like street version of the Black Series because the Black Series isn't really a car you can daily, whereas this I think is. Um, new headlight design, which is really cool. You got those three lights for AMG. Just kidding, I have no idea why. But even in the digital light area there, you can see like that brushed kind of almost like aluminum look, which is really nice. So let's see what we got here. One man, one engine, crafted by... Who is this? I can't read it. I can't either. Hebler? Whoever it is. Hepter? David? Did a good job with the engine, but not so much with your signature. I think that's a D. Looks like David time, Heb Hepter. Hebler. So the last time we showed this, the handcrafted one man, one engine in our car, I believe it was Tobias. He actually commented on the video and said, uh, enjoy your engine. I put that thing together for you, which is really cool. So same thing, twin turbo V8. If we open ours, it looks literally the same. I think it's the same in the 63 too. It's just a tune. Let me know. Hot twin turbo sits inside the V. Beautiful. I would probably get carbon fiber in here if I could. Of course. But of course it looks really good. And it's easy to go. And actually, this goes all the way up for maintenance. Don't do it, teens, but it'll push up really high. And it just looks really cool. So technically, it's a mid-engine front engine car. Sits behind the front uh, axles. So you still get incredible performance from this car. I think this one's zero to 60 is 3.8 seconds. In the 63, it's 3.1. They're all wheel drive now, which is really nice. That's something that I always wanted because we live in Pennsylvania. So I want to be able to drive it in the winter time. So I think the fact that it's all wheel drive, you still get the awesome twin turbo V8, four seater that fold down. You can put golf clubs in the back. You can take groceries, you can go on trips. Like we wanted to go down to North Carolina and visit Phil and stuff. We could throw luggage in here. It's insane. So let's hop inside real quick here. Absolutely beautiful. Burmeister surround sound. And I think that this is what Mercedes does better than any other brand is the the elegance with the sportiness. So the suggested retail price is 134.9. That's P4 options, 134. Okay, so 134. All right, that's not terrible. Let's get in here and let's shut this because it's freaking hot outside. Oh God, that burns. I like where the start stop engine is or the start stop engine button right there. So let's start it up. So Thanks this fans. interior is insane. Look at this. To go from the GTR Pro that we had to this is... What a difference. It's the same MBUX as in our uh, GLE, our 2024 GLE. So same steering wheel. You can get carbon fiber in here and all this stuff. Then you go from here to comfort to sport. You'll hear the exhaust open up oh. in Sport Plus and then even race too. You can see all this. It's really cool. You've got, I think you still have wireless car play in here, yeah. I believe. And charging. You've got storage too, in there for charging. That's really nice. You've got cup holders in here. More storage right here. Charging ports. Yeah, honestly, and these seats are so incredibly comfortable. And look at how cool these things are. Mm -hmm. Wow, and they're like weighted the way that they move. Dude. And there are even ambient lighting going around those. I don't know if you'll see it. Is there? Yeah, there's a little ambient light going around it. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, around this little yeah, thing. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, this is incredible. The way you move your seat right here. You've got all your controls here. It, it's super comfortable in here. Like, this is very well done. I think you could probably option a, um, a sunroof. 
and even here look at the visibility holy crap you can see out of there very well behind you the rear view cameras i'll just show you same thing here look how easy this is reverse is it like our gle oh, drive that's oh, it that's and park awesome. you push in here Boop. that's how easy it is so when you put on your reverse sorry there's your reverse cameras absolutely incredible look at the options you have in cameras see whatever you want to see you can go to auto i think that this has auto self-drive auto self-park yeah plus front cameras it's honestly pretty remarkable i'm shocked by how cool this is oh you even have a front lift it looks like unless that's unless that's um aero i'm not sure what that is and you can change these to be whatever you want we'll put it to exhaust right there this is a suspension setting i'd probably do drive so i can put it into manual and use the paddles whenever i want uh i don't know guys I think that this might be a suitable replacement for the Audi R8. What do you think, teens? It's really nice. It's super nice, it right? Screams, it screams. Could you see us rolling right? around in this? Yeah. Should we do a little sound test and then take it out for a spin? Absolutely. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so let's do, we'll do comfort first. Ooh, so quiet. To see how loud it is. It probably has a exhaust limiter at 4,000 just like ours does. But let's see here. This is the 55, so when they tune this up to 100 more horsepower, it sounds a lot better than this one does. And if you just put a tune on this and got rid of that stupid soft rev, it would probably sound a lot better. Look how cool that is, dude. Okay, so before we head out, I just realized it has heated, cooled seats and massaging seats. This is insane. I'm getting a massage right now. I'm buying one. It's pretty much a done deal. Really? Yeah. Dude, look at this. Look at this. It's ridiculous. It's re it's so nice. So the only thing I would say so far, let me see if I can move my seat up. Like up in the air. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I love it. All right, well let's uh, start driving. You want to film? Yeah, let me get my seatbelt on. All right, get that seatbelt on. BTT. Okay. There you can see the difference between the keys. See that one versus that one. There it is, old versus new. I kind of like this. Yeah, it's thinner and slimmer. I like the back of the other one. I just wish that they would have kept it like, if it would have just been circular and flatter. Yeah. Right? But it's still nice. I mean, it's not a huge deal. I'd take the credit card anyway. I'd rather just use an that's app. That's crazy. Or credit something card super easy. It's just, that's what they do with Tesla. Okay, first drive. Uh, can I move the steering wheel up? I can. We got 80s music playing. We're good there. Put it in drive, super easy. I noticed the steering Oh, it has rear wheel steering too. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's impressive. Um, I'm in track mode. We'll leave it in Sport Plus. <clears throat> right now I have it in automatic. But I will say, one of the things that... I can tell you it's already a lot more comfortable than the GTR Pro. <laughs> yeah, I know. The GTR Pro had fixed suspension. It was the track variant. So I, you're not expecting comfort with the GTR Pro. Dude, there's so much space in this compared to the GTR Pro and to the GTR. There's it's there's way more room. There's more headroom and there's more room to move the seats back and forth. It's a lot better. What is going on here? What? Let's turn this down a little bit. 80s music is getting to me. So um, I'll start out with it just in regular drive mode. Do the really paddle like... shifts have the clickety click click? Uh, I'll we'll find out in a second. Um, the bonnet isn't as long and. Um, it's a lot easier to drive. The GTR. Whoa! Wow! That's got a holy shit! Wait, what? That's got a kick. Is your window down? It is. Okay. Where should we go? Listen to those downshifts. What? All right, here we go. Let's see how it feels. on this too hard because it's brand new and it's for sale um i gotta figure out what the differences are between the 55 and the 63 because if it's just a tune I, I don't understand why you would spend all that extra money so i need to talk to mercedes when we get back there i kind of think i want one i think what we should do teens is i'll let you i'll drive it out here and then i'll let you drive it okay. listen to this thing and the shifts are kind of violent dude yeah look at 
like that. Let me see if I can. It's got a. Uh, Here, I can swim. Dude, holy crap. I didn't expect it to be as fast as it is. The brakes are really good. I wonder, can I change, does it have all the same? Yeah, it does, look. You can hand it to me. Look, it has all the same layout. So you got classic, understated, self-driving assistance mode. It, I'm shocked yeah. by how good this is. <laughs> Dude, this is badass. I, I didn't expect it to be this fun and playful. And the shifts are kind of violent, right? Yeah. Damn. Yes, yes, yes. I like it. I'm getting a massage right now with my cooled seat on. We got air, AC blowing on us. I love how tiny the dashboard, it's, it has a lot of character. And with, with um, newer cars, you kind of, everything is like based on something and like all the manufacturers use like the same shit and Mercedes is building all their own stuff. And when they do stuff like this and they overhaul like an iconic version of their car, they did a really good job. I love the previous uh, AMG GT series and I was worried about how this one would feel. Oh good. Oh good. That's really cool, man. I think the Mercedes V8 is my favorite V8 and the character that it has, it didn't lose, which I was worried about because of restrictions and things. And again, this is the 55. Here, teens, I'm gonna pull in here and I wanna let you hop in here. And the rear steering, dude, oh my God. It, look at this. It's insane how good it is for parking and stuff. I wonder if the camera system pops on by its own. You can probably click that and there yeah, you go. Yeah, there you go, wow. And look, it's probably 3D, yeah. Like, my R8 has a tiny little backup camera in the middle of my thing. Like, look at this crap. I, I, I put it in park so it went away. All right, let's get Teens in here, see what she thinks. Now we gotta wait for Teens to put her seat all the way up through, the, through the front windshield. The so yeah, so you notice how small the front windshield is? It's so weird. This and like this, is, this is really high, yeah. But isn't it a lot easier to see than the GTR Pro? Oh, Remember how long the front end was on the GTR Pro? It felt like you were running over everything. It sounds really good. Yeah. You can feel the yeah. pops in your uh -huh. butt. You can even feel like the engine like shifting in there in its little harness. Dude, what the heck? Why does Mercedes do this to me? <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna buy anything this year. I'm putting all my money in Bitcoin. And then they come out with this. And then Dan text messages me and says, hey, it's we got a available. GT55 if you wanna try it. Of course you do. All right, let's see what she's got here. Are you shifting or are you a man? Nah. You're an automatic? Okay. Nah. Give it some give it some frank and beans. Oh, you didn't switch it, Jared. I, 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 I asked you. You're supposed to switch it. Which is fine. You, you shift it just there fine. You go. Yeah. Back to manual. Okay. How did that feel though? It's it's got way more power than I thought it yeah, would. Yeah, I thought so too. For a 55, like I can't imagine the 63 jumping up to. Another 100 horsepower. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically what our GTR Pro so was. So smooth. Right? So smooth. I don't think our GTR Pro had rear wheel steering. Do you remember? I can't remember. I thought it did. I can't remember if it did. It Maybe did. it was the Black Series that didn't. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It did. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. It did. This is. Compared to your R8, this is luxury. Very luxurious. Right? Your R8 is like it's just outdated. You know, it doesn't have all the snazzy things. That Which come with a it. part of me likes. I like the old school feel to it. But we're getting older. I don't really race or drive fast. You know, anymore. You think they'll notice if we just take this home <laughs> and just don't go back? <laughs> They'd probably be waiting for a check. <laughs> I would imagine if we did that. that is no, I want to spec one. If I was going to buy one, I would get a, I would get a 63 and I want to spec it. The new hyper blue and the satin blue that they have, I forget what it's called, like hypersonic blue interior. or something. I would do a white, two-tone white interior. Dude, I, it's like, damn. <laughs> that's some get up and that, go, right? And that's automatic. Yeah. No shifting, uh -huh. nothing. And just in sport mode, sport plus. Sport plus, yeah. yeah. And she's not even, we're like, we're, we weren't, we're not getting on it hard because uh -huh. it's obviously it's breaking in and you want to give it a, at least the first thousand miles. 
It's but if you need dude, to go, space. if you need to like merge or get out yeah. of the way, instant, quick. It's cool too because it's all wheel drive, but it'll, it'll, it can send up to, I think 80% to the rear wheel. So you still get that like iconic uh, sports car feel. And then when you need the grip up front, you still have it, it'll just transfer to that. You could drive this in the snow and it has clearance. It doesn't look like it's gonna scrape on stuff. You I like it? I really like it. <laughs> you like this better than your vet? I, uh, uh, I don't know. Oh. I mean, you can't, you can't, uh, uh, no, you can't compare it to my vet. Teens, I love it's better than your vet. <laughs> but I love my vet. I do like your vet. Your vet, your vet is cheap. My vet? Compared, comparatively. And that's in comfort. And it still sounds and good. it still sounds really good. And it's still fast. No wonder so many people have driven this car this week. Yeah, it's wow. pretty incredible. Is this our first time coming out with this or something? Yeah, it's all new for this year. Wow. Yeah. So this car is available at Sun Motors Mercedes. Talk to Dan. I'll put his information in the description below. I probably won't buy this one, but I'm going to talk to him about an allocation for 63. And I need to, I need to look into that because... So they're beautiful and it's so comfortable easy to drive and it has dynamic so suspension so um, it'll change when you put it in comfort it'll be nice and smooth and it'll be um, what's it called more plush and then as you move into sport sport plus and track it gets stiffer so easy to park right? so easy to drive I mean dude the interior and we don't even we're not even seeing the ambient lighting right now no at, yeah at I night, can't imagine the night at night it's gonna be like a carnival Where in here else like would a it, disco oh, I see back oh here. it's all over and right here teens Oh yeah, behind oh, this, behind it outlines it, yeah. everything. And right here, you yeah, can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wow. love it. That's very impressive. Very I want impressive. one. <laughs> so we just noticed another thing too. It's pretty easy to get in and out of. There's quite a bit of clearance. It's not so low to the ground. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's a really nice car. I didn't expect to like it as much as I, as I thought I would, especially the 55 version. That's kind of a bargain for what it is. If you don't want to step up to that 180 price range with the 63, this is like a really good way to get into one. So again, 2024 Mercedes AMG GT 55, um, all new for 2024. It is available here at Mercedes uh, Sun Motors. Uh, I'll put links in the description below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think I should sell my R8 and buy a 63 variant of one of these? And I have a crazy wrap idea too, if I did it which people would love it yeah um, and it would be content for the channel you know I've done everything with my R8 I will miss it but they're not I mean they're always going to be available you can always find them if I, if I wanted to but that's it what are your thoughts on it you really like it I do you actually do I'm more impressed with it than I thought I would be same here it just yeah like I said it screams luxury easy to drive comfortable to drive fun to drive very fun to drive and it's sexy too you it like is, it, it is as a female, I like you like how it? Much room yeah, it dude, it's they like did it. Can't go grocery shopping, uh -uh. can't go on trips, no. can't do anything. No. You can Drive go it. around in town, that's yeah. about it. That's this it. gives you a lot more. Yeah. And options. like if you're more than six foot, six foot two in that car, like your brother was miserable. Like Alex, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like your feet are literally in your chest. Like I love it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy car um, walk arounds and reviews, let us know in the comment section below. I would love to do more in the future, uh, and not just do all bike stuff. There he is, Dan the man. If you guys What's want this car, on? dude, we're very impressed. I was, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, very impressed. I want one, but I would do the 63 variant. I can, I can help with it. Okay, I know perfect. Yeah, so I told him this is <laughs> available <laughs> here. I told him you're the guy. All his information will be Thank in the description you. below. I'm very impressed with just like how fast it is and how comfortable and how capable. It's a great car. And the room right. inside of it. Yeah, they did a good job. But that's it. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for uh, for watching. Thank Dude, you great for letting us you. check out the car. Absolutely, yeah. man. And um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.